Hey guys, in this video, we will see how to create a custom connector to connect to a REST API. We'll also see uh, what's the difference between using an HTTP action versus custom connector and why custom connector is preferred over HTTP. So let's get started. So in this uh, video, I'm going to use uh, Gemini API as my uh, target. So I'm going to connect to this API via custom connector okay so let's get started so let me go to custom connector if you couldn't find custom connector over here you can click on more and you could uh, see the custom connector over here if it is still not visible you can click on discover all and you can look for somewhere around here or you can simply do a control f1 search and you can pin it for uh, for your future use okay so let me get started so let's click on custom connector new connector create from blank okay so let me give some name to it let's say llm api i'm going to connect to a api okay so let me give some description to connect to gemini api okay so now connect via on-premise gateway this checkbox is not required for now if you are going to connect from a, a cloud to an on-premise um, source uh, which the cloud couldn't directly hit the on-premise and then in that case you can go via uh, gateway since i'm going to connect to gemini so i don't need gateway i'm leaving it as such and now we have to pass the host so we'll take this portion this is going to be our host we can skip the HTTPS part since it is already over here. So we'll just give the host part alone, followed by this portion of the URL. Okay, that's our base URL. Now let's proceed to security. So now authentication. We need an authentication. So I'll go with API key. So this is the header we are going to pass. So I'll copy this. I'll give the same name to both label and uh, name. Okay, and we are going to pass this in the header. So the actual API key, we will pass it later uh, once we create a custom connector and then we have to create a connection. So we'll do it that time. So now we are just giving the name of the parameter and we are defining where this has to be passed. So it's not recommended to pass in the query. So we'll pass this API key as, as part of header so let me go to definition and now here we have to create a new action so this action is what we will see uh, in the flow when we create a new flow and we will pull an item from the action and that is where we will see this so so we have to give a name to it let me say gemini api so this is what we will see in the list of actions and let me give some unique id so this will be the unique id for this action module okay and now we have to pass the request so let me click on import from sample so i know my request is a post request so let me copy the url let me select post i will pass the url i'll pass the header so i have this header api anyhow i'm doing it uh, as part of authentication so i'm skipping that i'm just going with this header alone followed by the body so this section within curly brace so this is our body where we have the prompt so this is the prompt which is going to get passed so let me import this so once I import this, you could see the URL is captured and the header is captured and the body. So in the header, I can go and edit. So I can make a couple of changes over here. Since my header is going to be static most part of the time, so I'll just pass it as a default value so that it doesn't ask me every time. So I'm just passing this default value as the header and then i'll go back coming back to body i'll leave it as such okay 
so now that's all about the request and now finally the response in the response i can click on import from sample so i have the sample api response already captured with me i have the header section over here and the uh, body section sample as well so i can take this and i can import it over there header and the body so you can use uh, some portal like postman or even the power automate to kind of hit this api and get a sample response and then you can pass it over here so i have my response header and my response body so you could see this is the output i'm going to get right the format so i'm passing these two clicking on import once i import so i could see all the header portions and the body portion so it knows this is the kind of output we are going to get every time we hit the api so once we are done with this we go to code i will skip this portion and then finally test so before we test this connector we have to create this connector custom connector description can't be shorter okay custom connector create connector okay connectors created let me go to test so before we test we have to create a new connection and this is where it will ask you for the api key okay let's pass the api key and let's create the connection let me refresh it so the connection is created and now you could see the header it is asking for the content type i'm passing it as the application uh, uh, json and now we have to pass the body okay we'll pass the body which is going to be this portion within curly brace now let's test this Okay, so we could see status 200 so so explain how a works okay so this is the response we got a learns from so and so okay so so this is how uh, we create a custom connector and we can test it over here and now since this custom connector is created we can use it in uh, our flows now as we discussed in the beginning of this video so we can also do the same uh, uh, connection to rest api via http action so you can use the url to pass your uh, url and you can do a post and you can pass the headers the authentication key uh, so and so on you can pass the body and you can very well use this action but the thing is that this has to be repeated in every flow and your api keys are exposed over here so whereas if you go with a custom connector you do it only once and this can be reused in multiple places and your uh, api key is not exposed okay so that's one advantage of going with custom connector and uh, the reusability is there your api key is secure and you can even follow advanced methods like uh, azure vault uh, where you can safely store your keys as well uh, uh, if you have uh, appropriate license the another advantage of custom connector is if you are going to hit an uh, uh, on-premise api then you may you might need a gateway to be created so in that and then you can very well use gateways uh, within custom connector so hope uh, we understood how to create a custom connector and uh, the pros and cons between custom connector versus uh, http please do let me know in the comment section for any clarification thanks for watching